What is up guys, it's Saikuno here, and today we are playing as Akali. Let's take a look at the teams here, we have Zin's out for them, they have Jarvan up top I think, they have Thresh and Vayne at the bottom and Annie in the middle, we have Ezreal and, and, Mordekaiser. So I'm guessing we have Ezreal and Mordekaiser at the bottom. We have Jarvan in the jungle. We have Fizz in the middle. And me up top. Let's go ahead and... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mor uh, Mor Mordekaiser. Um, Hesitation is the seed uh, of defeat. Um, Alright, well let's go ahead and... We'll buy one of these and one of these. And we'll just buy a bunch of potions and... Uh, Actually, let's let's buy one of these things too, just because these are cool, Definitely and we should be good. All right, so it looks like Mordekaiser is going bottom, which is, I guess he didn't think he was going bottom, but uh, looks like he is now. So we have Pulsefire Ezreal, we have Fizz with no skin, we have Jarvan with no skin, and Mordekaiser has uh, some kind of I don't know what Minions it is. Let's go ahead and head up here, make sure there's no invades going on, even though it's very very late, and chances are I'm actually just gonna. Just gonna die, but... Alright, so they want me to check the red. Chances are if I check the and there's somebody there, I'm just gonna die instantly, but let's go ahead and check. Alright, so the red looks fairly safe. I don't think... I don't think they're invading. Alright, so they're not invading. Let's head back to the top Understood. lane and check on our team. They are jungling quite well. This guy lost half his HP to the wolf somehow, but it uh, should be just fine, guys. Alright, let's walk up here. And we're up against Jarvan, and I know that Jarvan has quite a weak level 1, so what we're going to do is stand in this bush and see if he walks up. And he is walking up, so let's go ahead and Q right there, and auto attack, and he's running away. Alright, auto attack to trigger the mark, and another auto attack, that's a bunch of damage, this guy taking so much damage, and that's half of his HP just for free. Alright, let's get some last hits going, and we definitely are gonna, not going to have an easy time this lane, because Akali does have a weak uh, early game, but... I mean, we definitely have an advantage here, so we're just going to play safe, and I want to put a ward down because I have a feeling his jungler might gank for him since I'm way up now. Right, so let's just sit back and not play too aggressive. I want to get some CS, but I don't want to play too much because I know Jarvan can't do much until level 2 because he doesn't have his combo. So we're just going to sit back and uh, try and farm up CS while we... Alright, so he's level 2 and I'm level 1, so i got to play it safe now. And he actually just used that. Alright, let's Q right there and get an auto attack. There's a W going off. Auto attack to trigger it and walk away. Alright, so let's auto attack these guys for some last hits here if we can. Understood. And drop some Qs just to harass this guy. And we gotta play a little bit safe because he does have a lot of minions and we don't. So we're just gonna keep dropping Qs on him and go for some last hits here. And I have no idea what that was. He's using up all his mana actually for nothing. So that's not, not a good idea for him, but should be okay guys for for me it should be okay i mean it should be okay for him too i suppose all right let's go ahead and put more points in our queue and we'll just keep on harassing him if we can i don't want to trigger the mark because i do have a lot of minions here so if i trigger the mark and the minions hit me i'll probably end up taking more damage than he does all right looks like someone's coming in for a gank he's actually quite far away but and right, so what we're gonna do is bait this guy if we can, and he's going in for it! There's a trigger mark! This guy's taking a lot of damage, and he's flashing out of there. But that's just fine with me, guys. He has no flash. He's going to get zoned out and miss a lot of XP, which is very, very good for me. All right, let's go ahead and keep on getting some last hits here, and wait for him to come back, because once we hit level 6, we'll get to do a lot. And what did this guy start with? He does have a ward, but he didn't place it. Okay, so I think he just placed it, because I just saw something there. Level up our E right here. Symmetry in all Keep on going for last hits because he's missing out on quite the amount of XP right now. He's still chilling back there. I'm level 4, so I am quite a bit ahead of him now. Uh, let's go ahead and keep on going for last hits and wait for this guy to try and do something. I gotta be careful. And it looks like he's actually... He's completely out of mana, actually. So he's been burning a little bit too much mana. He's actually quite afraid of me. Another he actually has wards in the bush, so I'm not sure why this guy's coming. He's just scaring him off, which is which is actually a good idea because he's getting zoned more and more. So uh, I'm just going to win my lane, hopefully, is, is the plan. Once I hit level 6, because Akali doesn't do too much until she hits level 6. Looks like this guy is still standing back. So since he just went back, i got to push this lane as fast as I can so I can go back too. Symmetry so he's actually, he hasn't gone back yet. Okay. 
Alright, so he hasn't gone back yet. I thought he did, but... It's okay, guys. We're still doing fine. Zin Zhao's in the middle. Looks like they're going for a dive! What's going on? But this guy definitely going down. And that's probably worth it for my team. Let's try and get some poke on this guy. There's some poke. This guy taking an E to them. Why oh, miss? I missed the E. Alright, let's cue this guy one more time. Auto attack right there. And W for the shield. And there we go. That's actually didn't do too much damage. I don't know if it blocked it or something. But I didn't take any damage. That's very good. And that's exactly what I'd like to see. So let's go ahead and keep on going here. Zin Zhao just died. So I don't have to be too afraid yet. So what I'm going to do is try and push this lane. Let's go and Q right there, and this guy not going down. Let's E. And we'll push this lane and get some last hits, hopefully. And uh, we should be okay. Alright, so this guy's playing a lot more aggressive than before, and I think it's because he knows my ward just ran out. So let's go and Q this guy. Let's try and get some harass, some harass on him, but I gotta play a lot more safe now, because Xin Zhao, if he started coming up here, he will be here very soon, so... Just keep playing safe until 6. Let's E right there. There's 6, so let's sit back, because we need to wait for... More charges. Alright, so now that we're six, we do have a good chance against this guy. He's playing very safe, which makes me kind of scared. I think he's trying to bait me into pushing the lane. But let's go and Q right there. And just sit back. So we're level six, and he's only level five. Which means if we go in, there's the Q ultimate E going off a bunch of damage. This guy taking so much damage. Can we go for it? We could go for it, but it's a little bit risky. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit back, because like I said, I don't have wards. And I don't know if Xin Zhao's coming anytime soon, so we're just going to have to play it safe uh, for now. So let's just uh, just sit back. Symmetry it's like this guy's all. checking in case. All right, he's coming through there. There's the E going off. This guy's taking an ignite to the back. Ultimate going off. Do we have another ultimate? There's the Q. And that guy definitely going down. We did have another ultimate just in case, and I would have gone for it. But thankfully, the Q killed him, so I didn't have to go in. All right, so that worked out just fine. Xin Zhao only level 5, so I definitely can take him. In a 1v1 fight, so I'm not too afraid if he comes right now. Since I know that uh, he won't be able to kill, or I don't know he's not going to be able to kill me, but I have a pretty good feeling he won't be able to kill me. So let's go ahead and E right there. And just try and go for some last hits here. Alright, there's another last. No K, no last hit there. Right, let's go ahead and E right there, and there's the big one. Alright, let's Q auto attack. One auto attack there. Vayne taken down, but one kill on Thresh. That's definitely. Not a good trade, actually. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of here, because we got to buy some stuff. We have a lot of money, and I'm betting Jarvan had a lot of money, too. So, if he comes back, he's going to come back with items, and not going to have any. Alright, so he does have no magic mantle, which is very good for him. But I'm just going to buy that, because it completely negates his no magic mantle. And what else I'm going to get is two wards this time, because I think I'm going to stay in lane for a long amount of time, so... With two wards, I can stay there for six minutes instead of Remain only focused. three minutes. What are these guys talking about? All right, so they're pinging a lot of stuff. I think Zin is bottom or something. Is that? I will have no idea what they're talking about, but we're just going to kill this Jarvan again. So that's the plan for now, guys. He does have his ultimate, but I'm level seven, and he's only level six. So I'm just going to go crazy on him. Let's go an ultimate QE going off a bunch of damage, and we're going to walk away because he just took a lot of damage. Definitely and that was, just, uh, that was a free trade for me. I could have kept going, but there's really no reason to since I already won the trade. So we're just going to sit back, wait for him to come back in, and let's let's stand right here. Maybe he'll take the bait. Alright, he took the bait. There's the Q going off. A going off. Ultimate going off. He's taking so much damage. Alright, we got a Q one more time. Ultimate going off. A going off. That guy definitely going down. There's the Q. That guy is down once again. Let's go an E right there for a lot of spell vamp. We got to drop a ward down soon because Xin Zhao... I have a feeling he's definitely going to be coming up here. So let's drop a ward down and uh, push this lane because he's going to miss out on even more XP now. Let's go and E right there and just keep on pushing. All right, there's one last hit and two last hits, three, three last hits and four last hits. All right, let's go and keep on going, guys. There's one not last hit. All right, so they're pinging something. Looks like Annie's doing... I don't know what Annie's doing, but let's, let's go and keep on pushing. That's E right there, auto attack. Auto attack one more time and Q right there. So I'm not getting too many last hits. My CS is actually really bad right now. But uh, my team's winning, which is very good. And I'm doing all right. So we're definitely coming into a lead here. Let's go ahead and grab another one of these things. Because I want to get my gun blade very, very quickly. Let's buy another ward just in case. Because I expected to be there longer. I didn't think he would die that quickly. But uh, but he did. So All right. So I think he just warded. And he just warded there. So I'm going to ping that. 
And since I have timestamps on, I can see that three minutes from that, so at about 13 minutes, his ward will be gone. Uh, most of the time it doesn't help, but sometimes it might help, so it, it never hurts to, to remember when they put wards down, if you see when they put it down. So let's just go crazy on this guy. There's the ultimate! There's the E going off, and I didn't actually break the mark, but he did get out of there. And uh, he did use a little more mana. I don't use mana, so he's actually, it's actually a good thing for me. So let's go ahead and keep on going here. I don't think he's going to be coming back anytime soon. Zin Zhao's in the middle, so I know it's quite safe. I'm just going to keep on going for last hits here, though. Right, so Zin Zhao's in the middle, and Jarvan's not I here anymore. He's going to fall even farther behind. All right, so he is back there, but he's not doing anything because he's afraid of me. It's exactly what I want, so let's just, uh, let's just freeze the lane and make him miss out on even more. That way, when he comes back in for some CS, he'll be even further behind. So let's just keep on going for some last hits. They have a lot of minions, so I'm not afraid to, uh, to just push a little bit, because I know it's going to kill my wave a lot faster. Understood. Right, so I don't know what this guy's doing. He's... I don't know if he... Maybe he disconnected is my only guess. So uh, we're just going to... We're just going to do this. All right, so he's, he's actually heading to the middle. I don't know what he's doing. All right, we got to push this lane, because he is heading to the middle, so we got to force him back here. And... Uh, Hopefully my team saw those pings. I, I, don't, I don't know if Ziggs saw that. Or not Ziggs, Fizz. I, I always mix those guys up, but I don't know if Fizz saw that. It looks like he's actually heading to the bottom. I'm not sure. I guess he just gave up. I, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what he's doing right here, but Zin looks like he's going for something here. And judging by the time, Definitely either the blue buff is up or he's going to cover top. So what I'm going to do is hide in here and see what happens. All right, so it looks like Annie is going for the blue buff. So what I'm going to do is go Rambo style and try and take him 2v1. Uh, looks like the blue buff's actually not there. Zin was just covering top, which is actually fine because he's only level 7. And I'm level... Is that Boots of Mobility? Alright, so anyways, I'm, I'm level 10. He's only level 7. So we're just going to... We're just going to play aggressive because he's not... He's not going to be able to kill us. And it's like he actually just backed off, so... I don't know if, if this is their plan to send nobody up here, so I don't have anything to do, but it's working pretty well. Mordekaiser are picking up a kill on Vayne! Mordekaiser's support is working?! Alright, Mordekaiser's 1 and 2. Okay, that's not working. Well, that's not working at all. They're not even winning. Well, I mean, they're, they're doing alright. They're doing better than I expected, so that's definitely a good thing. I'm not sure where they went. They just they haven't sent anybody up here. Zin came up for like 2 seconds to... To make me think I was doing something. Jarvin's in the middle! Alright, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and roam there because our team is getting destroyed. Alright, so we're not gonna roam there. We're actually just gonna... Okay, we are gonna roam there because it looks like they're going for the tower. Can we take them 3v1? Probably not, but we're gonna go for it anyway, guys. Let's drop a ward down there just in case. Alright, Annie's definitely going down. She does have her stun, but we're gonna W right there. And there's the Q! Ultimate going up, Ignite going up, this guy definitely going down, there's the ultimate, this guy is down, and we gotta try and get out of here if we can, and where's our bot lane, it's doing fine, so we're just gonna have to try some miracle juke here, I have no idea what's going on, alright, this guy's gonna take ultimate, E going off, this guy taking so much damage, ultimate, that guy is down, Ezreal coming in to help me out, there's a W going off, alright, we got an ultimate on this guy, if we can, ultimate Q, E going off a bunch of damage, alright, Ezreal, I'm gonna need you here, and oh man, this is not good at all, alright, we gotta, Q on that guy, E on this guy, ultimate on that guy, definitely going down, another kill, right, we gotta watch out, Thresh is coming, no, we gotta get out of here, we can't save Ezreal, it's just too dangerous, so we're just getting out of there, we got a couple kills, I'm very sorry Ezreal, but I couldn't save you, There's, the vein was full HP, uh, he did play very well, he almost killed one of them, which is very, very good, but I wasn't able to save him, and that was definitely... Uh, my fault that he died, because I did kind of bait him into coming to help me, and I did kind of get him killed, so I'm very sorry, Ezreal, but it's okay. I got a couple kills, and hopefully I can snowball this game with the couple kills I did get from that. So we're just going to go in, eat right there, and keep on getting some last hits. All right, there's one last hit. Okay, there's no last hits. There's one double kill for Fizz. Good job, Fizz, and that's cleaning up their team. It's going to Q right there, E right there, and we should be fine, I hope. Alright, I don't know what Nozmi means, but I'm trying to communicate with the team. I know a lot of times you guys say that I don't talk enough to the team. And, oh wait, I'm not talking to them. Well, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to pay attention to what they say, is what I'm saying. So, that's what we're doing. Looks like they're going for Dragon here. It's very good. Uh, hopefully they get that so I can pick up some wards. And they did get it, so let's pick up two wards and head back to lane. 
Alright, so we have tons of potions. I could have sold those, but there's really no reason to sell them if I have enough rewards. So let's just head back up here. We'll try and get a kill on this guy. He's only level 8, and I'm level 12, so I do have a minor advantage on him. I could be doing better, but we should be okay for now, guys. So let's head up here, see if we can take this guy down. We do have Gunblade. That'll slow him down. And let's see if he's Red doing lighting. something here. I'm not sure. He doesn't have any wards. All right, so since he doesn't have wards, I'm just going to go nuts on him and see if we can get him. All right, there's the ultimate going off. There's the... Okay, so I don't want to dive him. I'm not that crazy yet. Let's just uh, let's just drop, drop a ward down, and we should be safer now. All right, so the lane's pushing, and I normally I would just freeze the lane because he would fall further behind. But right now, since I'm so far ahead, I think I should just try and make something happen by pushing the lane and uh, trying to get some kills to snowball more. Because there's Zinzdao, he's coming in. So I'm just going to pretend I have no idea what's going on. Hesitation and is the seed. I probably can kill him, so let's go ahead and E right there, and he's, he just walked away. But why didn't, why didn't they want to fight me? Alright, so I guess they don't like me, so I, I'm just going to... I guess they sent two people up here? Alright, let's go W right there! And, alright, we got to get out of here somehow. And we got to activate some potions. Let's walk in this bush. And alright, we're getting out of here. Hopefully, all right, let's go over there. We're going this way. We're going this way. All right, we're going that way. Let's go ahead and walk away from this one. And we're walking away from this one. See you guys later. All right, let's activate a potion just in case. This guy Q Q going off. That's a bit of damage. Looks like they're coming in. There's a going off. There's a W. This guy definitely going down. That's one kill. And that's how we turn a gank into a not ganker. Side. So we got a kill, guys. Good job, everybody. Thanks for coming in. So I'm going to say thanks to my team to let them know that I said thanks to my team. Alright, let's go ahead and E right there and keep on going. Alright, there's the Q going off one last hit and we're going to bring this tower down hopefully and uh, see what we got. We don't need a... Let's, let's just activate a potion just for fun because I mean, we have plenty of potions. They're pretty cheap and we got nothing else to do. So we got one ward for this blue buff here. Alright, so there's the ward. We don't see the blue buff up. I was kind of hoping it would be. Alright, so this guy could be in a lot of trouble. Or actually, alright, so I'm gonna let Jarvan jump in like a Rambo. And there he goes! Sorry, right, that's a... Okay, okay, this is a terrible idea! Alright, so he's flashing out of there, which is very good, actually. Some people might have waited on that flash, and that probably would have gotten him killed. So what we're gonna do Agreed. is actually try and catch someone who's transferring here. Alright, so this guy's right... Oh, he's not transferring. Alright, so I figured somebody's gonna go up here to try and stop them, and it looks like it's just Jarvan. Alright, so we got a lot of people here, and we're going to try and make something happen. So we're just pushing the tower, hopefully. Mordekaiser's pushing bottom, too, so that's very good. Ezreal's just poking at them. I don't want to dive because I'm not really that tanky yet. Alright, Jarvan's coming, so what we're going to do is... Alright, looks like this ult is ready, but I don't think this dive is good because Jarvan's there, and if he ults us, he'll trap us in there for a long time. That's our most random grab ever. Mordekaiser's still pushing bottom. Let's um, let's just check around. All right, so these guys are over here. I feel like someone's in this bush. All right, nobody's in this bush. I feel like someone's over here then. All right, someone's got to be doing this red buff. Nobody's doing the red buff. Wait a minute. This guy might come for it. He's not coming for it. All right, he's, he's still not coming for it. All right, looks like there is a team fight that's about to happen here. And we're in quite a bit of trouble. All right, this guy taking a lot of damage. Ultimate E going off. This guy taking so much damage. All right, let's W right there. Ignite going off, and we got a flash out of this one. We're taking too much damage. Oh, man. Oh, that is definitely, definitely not good for us. We got shut down, and our team's not picking up too many kills. Mordekaiser's going to get destroyed. That was not good at all. And uh, that's definitely not a good team fight for us. I think we're going to get aced here. All right, we're not going to... Oh, this guy's still alive. What is he... What is he though? Zinzel definitely got him, and that's how you get aced, guys. That's definitely, uh, definitely not a good thing. So we're taking a lot of damage, and all I'm gonna do is just rush a Warmogs, because Warmogs is probably the best item in the game right now, so. Alright, so I think they should have just backed away after I died, because I do most of the damage on the team, so there's that, but also Mordekaiser kind of flashed in there. Uh, also, our Jarvan kind of got caught there, so it's just a really bad idea to go in after your teammates get caught. We should have just backed off, but uh, there's not too much you can do, guys, so let's just head back up here, and we'll farm up some last hits, because we are falling quite far behind. Uh, as you can see, we only have 101, and look, this Annie has like 97, he has 91, 92, so we are kind of falling behind in last hits. we got to keep that up. Uh, I didn't buy any wards, because I wanted to get this, 
but we should be okay, guys. So let's just head over here and see if we can kill this guy. I don't think I used my gunblade that fight, so that's probably why we lost. All right, let's go ahead and walk up here. See if this guy is... That's the ultimate going off Q! E going off Gunblade! This guy taking a lot of damage! All right, let's go ahead and Q right there! Ultimate going off E! That guy definitely going down! And another kill for Akali! All right, let's go ahead and keep on going. I don't see any of them on the map, so I got to get out of here. I have no wards. And if I see nobody on the map, that's definitely a little bit worrying, I suppose. So let's go ahead and keep on going. Alright, let's be right there. I know I can 1v1 almost anybody on their team, or hopefully everybody on their team, but you never know, guys. Alright, so I feel like they're gonna try and gank me or something, but... Agreed. Alright, they're not coming to gank me. So we're just gonna go for Annie. She's, uh, she's a pretty easy target. I mean, she's a little girl. How, how strong can she be? Uh, looks like Dragon is up. So let's go and ping that. Alright, so Annie is still sitting here in the middle. You gotta watch out for that though. There's a little poke going off, but she is quite tanky actually. She already has that Rod of Ages. So we're just gonna sit back and no, oh, Mordekaiser's getting destroyed! Right, we gotta help out Mordekaiser. We're trying to make it in time. This guy could go down, but I'm not seeing it happen. Mordekaiser's trying to fight him off, but it's just not working. Alright, let's W right there. This guy is not getting away. Alright, so where's he gonna go? Let's uh we're we're in trouble. Alright, let's go and oh, we gotta watch out. Alright, we're getting out of here. There's too many of them. And there's no way we're gonna, we just gotta go for Vayne is my plan, so if we can stop Vayne, then we're definitely in a good position. Alright, we gotta, we gotta ultimate onto Vayne, we gotta ultimate onto Vayne, oh no! Alright, so that was definitely not good. We lost Mordekaiser and we went in again, so that's how you throw games, guys. You keep going into 4v5s, so that's definitely not a good idea. Uh, we should have backed off. I think if I backed off first, my team would have followed me, so it looks like they're gonna get a free dragon off this. And um, I think we're really just engaging a lot of 4v5s, and that's never, I mean, that's never a good idea. Especially when I get caught in Jarvan Ultimate, that makes it kind of a worse idea. So let's see what these guys are talking about. Mord stopped feeding, Vayne you mean, he didn't even say that in all chat, so there's no way Vayne can see that, but it's alright guys. Let's, uh, let's see, alright, so you got a turret. They probably got Dragon off that, but I got to head top to try and stop this, so let's go ahead and head top. It looks like Mordekaiser died again somehow. Did he just respawn and walk there, and why does he have these boots? I, I have no idea, guys. Let's let's just head up here and um, see what we can do. So I think Mordekaiser support, it, it doesn't... Uh, so Mordekaiser's 1-5, Ezreal's 1-4, so that's our bot lane duo that didn't work out too well. So we're just gonna keep going for last hits. So let's go to E right there. And Q right there. And try and get this lane pushing so we can do other things. I didn't buy any wards, which is probably a pretty bad idea. Uh, let's just E. We'll go for some last hits. And then we'll head back for some wards and warmogs. Actually, we only have enough for warmogs. So we're just gonna get that. And uh, hopefully that'll, that'll help us out. Let's see what these guys are talking about. Alright, it's fine. Because he fed too. Alright, so I'm not sure how that works because, I mean, he's not feeding, he's 1-5 and 1-0. Oh. He's, he's, uh, he's got 82 CS, that's pretty good. I mean, that's a lot more than the other support, I'd say. Thresh only has 15, so. What we're gonna do is, I guess we're just gonna try and get another kill or something. We don't have many wards, I haven't been buying them, so that's probably my fault. Ezreal's not here, so we gotta stick together. We need Ezreal up here. Alright, so this guy almost got caught. We need Ezreal to come up, and he is coming up, but I don't know if he's going to make it in time. So how would a good team fight go for us? We would need Fizz to land a good ult, maybe on Vayne or something. We need this guy to land a good ult. This guy, he, he doesn't really have to do anything. He can kind of just do whatever. Yeah, he can do whatever he's doing now, because I'm not sure what he's doing right now. Right, so we got a W right there! And ultimate on Vayne! E going off, Q going off, Ignite going off! This guy taking so much damage! And this guy definitely going down! That guy's down! We got a Q right there, ultimate going off, E going off, a bunch of damage, flash out of that one, and walk away, because we don't have our ultimate anymore, and without our ultimate, we can't do all that much. Let's go ahead and E right there for some spell vamp, and try and heal up, because we are going to have to help our team. Alright, let's get in there, see if we can help our team, go for Annie, guys! Alright, they're going for Annie, Annie definitely going down, I hope! Alright, ultimate going off, Q going off, that guy definitely down, and that's an ace for our team, let's go ahead and keep on attacking here, so we did win. I did kind of back out of that fight a little bit because I wanted to heal off the minions. So let's try and pick up a turret off of this and try and get a little... Whoa, that goes worth 500 gold. 
Who's whoa? The Annie is eight and three. Jesus! All right, let's um, let's go and bring this guy down. We'll head back to base and we'll pick up uh, something, maybe like a death cap or actually, let's take a look at their team here. So they have they have a lot of physical damage actually. So what we're gonna do is um, we could get some armor. I think would be good, but I think what we better is I mean we could just go for more damage. Let's actually go for some armor though, because Seeker's Arm Guard is a very good item. Even if you don't upgrade it, it's just very cost effective once you get enough kills on it. So it's just a very good item to have, even if you don't upgrade into Zanyas later on. So I'm just going to leave it like that, and we'll set this up. See, this is the body, and this is the Arm Guard, so this is the, this is the arm. It doesn't really look like an Arm Guard, but it's okay, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and keep on going for last hits here, and try and charge up the Seeker's Arm Guard. Alright, there's the E going off. This guy's up top. I forgot to buy wards. So, oh man, Annie! Alright, let's 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 go back to base. I'm pretty sure she can see me, but I don't think she can burst me down. I do have a lot of HP, and if she does come, I'll probably 1v1 her. Alright, so let's grab some of these wards, and we'll head back to the top lane. Dragons up in two minutes, they said. They have gotten three dragons? That's a lot of dragons. Alright, so we're 10 and 2, which is, uh, it's an okay score, Agreed. but we are losing this game pretty badly. You can see that, I think, oh, we actually have more turrets than them. So I should head up uh, up here because I just got to depend on my team here to defend this. I want to help him, but we I got to head up here to not give him a free turret. So what we're going to do is kill this Jarvan because he probably doesn't expect me to be up there. So let's go ahead and ult on this guy. There's the ultimate going off. There's the gunblade E going off. This guy taking so much damage. There's a W. He's taking a lot of damage. There's a QE. That guy definitely going down. And now we're level 16 with a level 3 ultimate. And we're going to be able to do something off of this, I hope. So we got the red buff. And we're just going to take that because we are the most fed on our team. And it's probably going to help the most to have it on us. Get a QE right there. We should stay at full HP because we have a lot of spell vamp. Oh, it's like Mordekaiser is up there by himself. They actually have a ward right here, so they're probably seeing everything we're doing. I think. Alright, so we got the red buff. And we're just gonna hide. So let's hide in this bush and see what we can do. I mean, we could push middle, but I'm not sure that's the best idea because I feel like we'd be losing in team fights. Just because. I mean, other than me, our team's not very. Don't, they don't have many kills. And they don't have much farm. Like, I have. Oh, I actually have the same farm as Jarvan. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop some wards down. Right, let's drop one right here. Hopefully Thresh is not there, and he's not there. Right, let's drop another ward over here, and... Alright, so there is a couple people here. Hopefully Jarvan comes in. We need Jarvan to come in. Alright, let's go and W right there. There's the Q. Ultimate going off a lot of damage. That guy definitely going down. Q on Vayne. We gotta bring her down. Ultimate E. Ignite going off. This guy... Definitely going down. Ultimate going off. Q. E going off. That guy definitely down. This guy also down. And that's an ace. Wolf 5 for 0. Alright, let's go ahead and keep pushing this. Where's my champion? Oh, she's she's off over here doing something. But let's go ahead and push this tower. Try and get an inhib off that if we can. Understood. But I highly doubt we're going to be able to. But it's just fine, guys. We're going to get at least a tower. My arm guard is not even close to fully charged, actually. So let's go ahead and go for Baron. That is a good idea if we kill it fast enough. Uh, we're not going to get an inhib. We don't have enough time. Mordekaiser can keep pushing. He's he's doing a good job. Whoa, he's 4 and 6. He sure made a comeback. Good job, Mordekaiser. Let's go ahead and Q right there. E right there. And try and bring this guy down. I'll just go ahead and use one ultimate. I do want to save my charges. But, I mean, one ultimate. It should recharge by the time we need it. So let's go ahead and Q. E right there. This guy taking a lot of damage. Definitely going down. So what we're going to do is go over here and camp. Because they're probably going to check if we... Okay, so my team's not with the plan. So we're just going to go back. Uh, the other plan was, I mean, the plan I like to do after getting a Baron is I like to hide in a bush somewhere because they're going to check or send like one or two people to check or like maybe their support to ward. And then we're just going to catch them and get a free kill. But that's clearly not happening. So what we're going to do instead is go back to base and try and buy this, but we don't have enough money. So we're just going to have to buy some other thing that we'll just buy this. We, we don't have much else, so... Grab a couple wards and we should be good. Alright, let's move this over here because I like 5 as my ward button because I don't accidentally press 5. But uh, I do Tread push lightly. it quite easily. I, it's, it's a button I don't push accidentally, so I don't want to waste my wards. Let's go ahead and head up here though because it looks like Jarvan's up for another suicide push. I'm not sure why, but he's just giving me more money. So Wait, I didn't get any kills that last team fight. 
Alright, so I didn't get any kills, which is probably a good thing, actually. I mean, my team does need some kills, so let's drop some wards down. Uh, we can drop one down here. I know Zin's down there. There's actually nobody up here, probably. Alright, so we'll drop one there. Annie's by herself, and I'm 90% sure I can 1v on her. She's two levels below me. She probably has a lot less gold. And it looks like she's actually going back. Actually, she's... What does she do? Where is she going? She's going to a kind of random location. Alright, so Zin's right here. I feel like they can see me. I think... I'm pretty sure they can see me, because if they couldn't, then I'd be quite surprised. What we're going to do is just keep pushing mid, because... Actually, they're all missing off the map, so that does make me a little bit worried, but... Alright, let's go ahead and back out of here, because... We need Ezreal. Alright, this is not looking good. That is not a good idea! Ezreal's not here! Alright, so this is could be the throw of the century. Alright, we gotta go for Annie! There's the Q going up! Ultimate going up! E going up! There's a W! Alright, so they're using all their ultimates on me! There's the Q! E going up! We gotta flash out of this one! Alright, we gotta do something! We're gonna die to the ignite! Oh man, that is definitely triple kill! And that's five for one! That's definitely good for my team! It looks like they all just went on me for some reason. I guess they they see me as a threat when I'm doing absolutely terrible this game, so I have no idea what's going on. But it looks like they all used all of their moves on me, and my team just cleaned that up. So we are picking up the inhib here, which is definitely good. And uh, what we can get next is we can either get Death Cap, or we can get, like, Crystal Scepter or something. So I'm feeling a Crystal Scepter, because they are focusing us, and it, actually we're just going to win the game here. So let's go ahead and grab this, actually. And, oh, we're going to win. So what we're going to do is sell all our items so nobody understands what's going on. And, uh... Oh, okay, well, we have boots. And that's how you play Cali. I'll see you guys next time.